What we Toyota Tacoma owners really care about and what will kill it if they don't get it right in the next redesign. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. So what is it that we Toyota Tacoma owners really care about? And if they don't get it right in this upcoming redesign, when I say upcoming, I'm talking about probably within the next two to three years. Well, first of all, is style and appearance, right? I mean, I've said this, I don't know, 558 million times on the channel. The Toyota Tacoma is the best looking truck on the road. Not only the best midsize looking truck, but the best looking truck on the road. I mean, it's just awesome. And I'm not really referring to the color. I mean, I think the voodoo blue color is awesome, of course. I could be a bit biased because I have this color. But I think so even if the truck is, let's say, under my breath, silver. I mean, it still looks fantastic. It still is the best looking truck on the road. I mean, when you look at the lines and stuff on this truck, it's just awesome. They've got it down, they've got it set, and I really hope they don't take the easy way out and go with something that already exists, and I'm talking about the Hilux or the Helux. Unfortunately, I think the next uh, Gen Tacoma, Gen 4, is probably going to be very Hilux-like. I think they're going to base a lot of the proportions and stuff on that truck. Hopefully I'm wrong, we shall see. Next up is comfort, right? I mean, there's nothing worse than getting in a truck that is just horrible to get in, right? I mean, you dread it, you don't want to get in it, you don't want to take long distance trips or lengthy trips in it because it's just not comfortable. I mean, let's take a look. You know, they have made some improvements recently. They changed the seats. They gave us a 10-way power adjustable lumbar, you name it, seat. And it is pretty darn good. Got some decent bolstering here on the sides. Not quite as much as the uh, Jeep Mojave that I just looked at, which is very comfortable, by the way. But still not too bad. The only complaint I have is probably the seating surface in here. It's a little bit hard. It could be a little bit better. I think when you spend a lot of time in the truck, it kind of gets to wear on you a little bit. It gets uncomfortable in the seating area. But it's not horrible. I do think that uh, Toyota could do uh, a little bit better when it comes to comfort in these seats. They've got the power adjustable thing down. Works great. No issues with that. They might throw one over there for the uh, passenger. You know, they might like a little bit of lower back or lumbar support too. But the seats are pretty good in the front. Now, when we go to the rear, uh, the seating surfaces are not too bad. Don't really like the angle too much. To be honest, you sit almost a little too forward. For me, this is personal preference, of course. And then dimensionally, we could use a little bit more room. And I'm thinking about the rear passengers here, right? I mean, I don't sit in the rear of my truck, but you and I know if you're going on a long distance trip and you've got some kitties in the back and they're not comfortable, you're not going to be comfortable. So we could use just a little bit more room here in the back, I think, just to make the truck even a little bit better and a little bit more comfortable. Next up is reliability, right? Now, I can speak to this in comparison to my Jeep Gladiator over here um, because I've had a couple issues. Not that it wouldn't run or start or anything, but just little gremlins, little things that pop up. But I gotta say, with the Toyota Tacoma, I've had zero issues, nothing, not even the smallest thing. And that goes from mechanically all the way down to the quality of the truck, I guess. Everything has been spot on, very reliable, no gremlins, no air codes, no messages. Now, there have been a couple of recalls. Uh, we're going through the fuel pump recall right now, if you're unfortunate enough to be involved in that. Um, I'm not, so I haven't had to worry about it, but it is out there, and uh, Toyota is having to deal with that right now. Um, the next one kind of lives right into reliability, and that is quality, and quality obviously ties into reliability. I mean, you have to be able to start the truck. It has to run when you want it to run, right? 
but I'm more referring to the quality of the materials, the body panels, the paint, all that extra stuff that when it doesn't happen correctly or when there is a problem, it really grates on you, right? I mean, if you're looking at the paint and there's a big smudge or blob or something in the side because they didn't get it painted properly, that's a drag. On the seats, if you've got some stitching or something that starts to come out, or on the steering wheel, these little spots where the different materials marry up, that's a drag. Scratches, things like that. And again, I've got to say, I haven't had anything that I have found. Well, let me take that back. There was one issue, and I think it was a shipping issue, could have been a manufacturing issue, and that was one little chip right there that I actually covered over. I think you can still see where it is there. But that was it. That is the only thing I have found. And believe me, I have been over this truck doing mods and things and found nothing else wrong. So kudos to Toyota. They did a great job there, I think. No issues with that. Now, the last item, or the last point, I guess, is power. That is the one area, and really the only area, that this truck lets me down. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that are perfectly happy with the power of the truck. I'm always looking for a little bit more, you know. I will say that the Gladiator, right beside me here, does not have that issue. And since they have similar sized engines, similar sized motors, um, it's probably more about the way that it's tuned, the way that it's set up. For me, the Toyota Tacoma is lacking. Um, it needs, at least for what I experience in alternate uh, in horsepower, probably somewhere between another eh, 50, 75 to 100 horsepower, something like that, um, to really give the Tacoma that oomph that it needs, I think. To be able to give me that same feeling that I get in my Jeep Gladiator over here. You know, I would even go as far to say that if the Toyota Tacoma felt the same or had the same power as the Jeep Gladiator, it would be perfect for me, especially with that manual transmission. You know, I've had manual transmissions in the past um, where the truck was just gutless. I mean, you're trying to go through the gears and it just it really doesn't want to move. It would rather just sit in your driveway and look pretty. Um, I'm not going to say that the Toyota Tacoma is that way. It's not, but it is close. Um, it really needs just a little bit more oomph. And one thing I wanted to ask you guys, too, if you've noticed, uh, particularly if there's anybody out there that has the manual, but is your truck moody dependent upon the weather? You know, I find, and I know it's this way with most vehicles probably, but I find that under certain conditions, the truck gets really sluggish. You know, it seems like it just doesn't want to go. And then in other weather conditions, you know, maybe less humidity, maybe cooler, it really likes to go. It really is fun to go and, and or to drive rather and seems like it kind of steps up a notch. Like that day it's just more energetic. It got out of bed on the right side or in this case maybe the driveway. I don't know. Have you, ever, have you experienced that? Uh, I'd be curious. Anyway, those are just a few things that I think we Toyota Tacoma owners care about, at least me. And I think Toyota really needs to make sure that they get these right at least at a minimum when they go through the redesign of the Toyota Tacoma for the fourth generation. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Did I miss anything? Is there something more important that you care about? I bet towing and hauling are out there for you. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator back here. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.